okay so we said uh, we said that our hadoop packages in specifically here rmr2 package relies on uh, a notion that is present in uh, hadoop when you install uh, called hadoop streaming and uh, hadoop streaming as we just said uh, it's a utility that allows uh, users to run MapReduce jobs on the cluster with any executable, okay, whatever is the language. And how does it do it? It's simply all that executable needs to maintain is that it reads from the standard input, which is your regular input, like keyboard or uh, something like that, and then uh, produces results to standard output, okay. So as long as you have that condition, you read from the um, uh, console and then uh, output to the console, okay? If I have a executable like that or if I have a function like that, I can simply call it from our uh, uh, map and reduce phases in the map reduce job, okay? And uh, How is it done? It's essentially uh, you have um, so this this dotted box is essentially the basic map reduce job, right? You have an input reader which is responsible for reading your data into uh, key value pairs, right? Um, so we said using map reduce we can read uh, read and write arbitrary types of data, right? Like, uh, for example, you can read uh, data in CSV format, you can read data in uh, delimited format, where delimited is some, where the delimiter is a, some arbitrary uh, string, let's say. Or I can read from uh, um, database tables also, actually. And I can read from, I can read data that is present in images. Uh, for example, JPEG or BMP images or audio files, doesn't matter, right? Whatever is the data format, I can read it from uh, Hadoop, okay? All it takes for us to read these different, different types of data is to create an appropriate input format, okay? Or also known as input readers. So these input readers are the ones that has the complete logic in interpreting uh, the input data, okay? So if it is a sound file, dot .wav file, Windows audio video file, then all I need to make sure is put the logic of reading uh, this particular .wav file into the appropriate input reader, and then I can run it in uh, MapReduce. Okay, and similarly, if it's an image, again, I just need to create a proper input format uh, or the input reader which reads this uh, uh, image file from the disk and then produces key value pairs. So that's all I need to make sure, and then I can run it in a MapReduce job. Okay, so that's an input format. Again, what is the goal of an input format or input reader? It converts from the raw data format, it reads the raw data and converts the data into list of key value pairs, okay, which are then input to the map, uh, map face, okay. So let's say I'm reading an image here and I want to uh, make each of my pixel as one key value pair, okay, key being the location of the pixel like uh, uh, row index and the column index and the value being the value inside the pixel, okay? Maybe the red, green, blue component, RGB components or just a, a, a gray component, whatever is the thing. But, so that's what I want, okay? I want to read an image and then convert it into a key value pairs where each key value pair indicates one of the pixel in the data. Okay, and once I have it, I can apply our map function, right? So map will now operate on every single key value pair. In other words, 
map will operate on every single pixel and then produces uh, some list of key value pairs which go into shuffling which go in subsequently going to reduce blah 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 same thing okay so all we need to make sure is provide key value pairs and that's the job of input reader okay make sense okay okay so uh, now coming back to this dotted box it's pretty much like the map reduce job that we have seen yesterday right so we have an input reader that uh, converts the raw data into key value pairs and then on those individual key value pairs we can apply our map function okay this is what we have seen yesterday as well uh, for example in the word count and what does a map do takes key value and produces another list of key value pairs right so uh, that intermediate data intermediate key value pairs are now sent to reduce I mean of course there is shuffling in between uh, which is not shown explicitly but uh, intermediate data is basically produced through shuffling which is simply the group by key right uh, and the reduce will get a single key and the list of all the values associated with that key okay and again it does something and then produce another list of key value pairs and then finally you write it into uh, your favorite output file okay and just like input reader converts from key value into uh, raw data into key value output writer is the opposite you take key values and produce whatever is a, a format that you want to generate okay so this is a regular map reduce job now how can uh, we plug in these arbitrary uh, language executables right so that happens uh, as external function uh, external processes okay so map uh, is running on the individual nodes in the cluster right as a single process right as many as map tasks as there will be as many as uh, processes right so in order to read from for example let's say r or python or perl okay you run that r process or the python process or the perl process whatever is the language that you want to uh, enable you run that process run that language in a different process okay so in R we said we we are going to write uh, my map function right so we wrote my map function and uh, that would be running in a different process uh, called external process okay external because it's just a, uh, uh, not the one that is executed in this daughter box okay and all it makes uh, all it needs to make sure is that it reads from uh, standard input and produces values to standard output if I have such a, uh, a process then I can simply call it uh, I mean call it using Hadoop streaming what it does is as soon as a key value pair comes into the map okay like a regular map reduce job usually in this box we apply some function and then produces a list of key value pairs right but right now there is no function the function is actually defined in a different language which is running in a different uh, process okay so what it does is simply pass the key value pair that we just got through standard out uh, standard input to this external process and now this external process is the one that is going to uh, do some calculations and uh, finally produce a list of key value pairs okay and which are sent out via std out standard output and then sent to this particular uh, thing so it's almost like you are acting as if you are computing those uh, list of key value pairs inside this itself but it internally it just offloaded that to some other process that's fine right but from the 
uh, uh, from this picture, there's nothing changes between going from here to here, right? So you're just passing in the uh, key value pair through standard input. It does the computation in the external process, produces key value pairs on the standard output, which are slowly passed to map uh, uh, function, and then which are sent to the internal uh, intermediate data phase, like shuffling, okay? So all this guy is doing simple passing around of uh, um, passing around uh, the key value pairs, okay? And then uh, reduce also do, does the same thing, right? What does reduce get in a regular uh, setting? A key and a list of key, uh, list of values, right? Like in the word count example, we saw the word, which is a key, and the list of values, which are like bunch of ones, um, as the set of values. So again, just like the map, re reduce phase simply gets these uh, uh, key and the list of values, pass it to the external function through standard input, and this is where you do the actual reduction, and then produce another list of key value pairs, which are simply passed on to the output writer, which are finally write to the, uh, written to the uh, HDFS. Okay, so that's the Hadoop streaming capability, which is already there in Hadoop by default. Okay, our Hadoop is just exploiting that uh, for R in particular. Okay, I don't know if you guys heard about Py Hadoop, which is a Python Hadoop, and which does exactly thing, right? Instead of these external processes running R, you would run Python. Okay, and what is the benefit of it, right? The immediate benefit that you can see is you can now write your mapper and reduce functions which are executing in these external uh, functions in your favorite language, right? It doesn't matter what language is it because this design, if you see, it's not dependent on any language that is coming from the external guy, right? All it expects is whatever it sends, that guy should accept, and whatever they produce, I should be able to consume in terms of key values, right? So as long as this uh, STD in, STD out handshake is uh, preserved, it doesn't matter what you run in these external processes, right? Do you guys agree? Any questions? So Subrata says, why do we need to do that? Uh, okay, fine. Okay, is that uh, uh, clear for everyone? How we enabled uh, a different language or different thing from MapReduce, okay? Obviously, there is a caveat. Uh, I mean, nothing is, uh, there is no free lunch, right? So, we are able to run processes uh, in written in any language, like mappers and reducers in any language, which is a great advantage, right? Even if you have an existing function, you can simply use that as a mapper, right? Maybe, let's say you have a, uh, uh, some cool function that you have written uh, to process some audio data, okay? And you want to use it in uh, MapReduce framework while processing a large, a large set of uh, audio data, okay? And you can simply run that uh, function in uh, this external process and suddenly you are able to uh, use that function in MapReduce uh, in a scalable distributed manner, okay? Okay, um, yeah, I think that's all about uh, this slide. Now, R Hadoop also exactly does the same thing, where the map, the my map and my reduce function uh, that we just talked about, which were written in R, uh, right? We said we will write in R, 
two different functions, my map and my reduce. And you can simply run that my map and my reduce in these external processes. And um, uh, the rest of it is taken care by Hadoop streaming. Okay.